Hey what's up guys so you might have noticed this message on much by amazon that they have changed the tier level system now previously it was based on the products and now they have moved on to the design based tiers which means that now you can upload a single design on multiple products and it will only account for the one you can say that uh, point in your tier level and you can read the details in this tier system details page and i'll put the link in the description below so keeping in view uh, of this new system and uh, there are some tips that i wanted to share with you and the first tip is that you should enable the maximum number of products in the united states marketplace so uh, by default uh, there are uh, you can see that there are multiple marketplaces to which you can upload uh, your design or you can enable your design for different products um, but i would suggest is that as a person who is at low tiers i would say uh, something like 100 tier or maybe 500 tier lower than that so you should enable only uh, for the us marketplace or the dot com marketplace and the reason is that amazon is very strict regarding the trademark rules for uh, the people at lower tiers so the also amazon suggests that if you are uploading your design or putting your products on other marketplaces like on this German marketplace, French, or any other the non-English marketplace, you should put the description, title, and the uh, um, uh, bullet points in that in that uh, the language of that marketplace. And uh, the problem is that uh, their countries have different, uh, you can say that trademarks. So if maybe there is a phrase or a word that is okay to use in the dot com or the us marketplace but that phrase or that word might not be okay to be used on other marketplace due to the trademark issues and also because uh, of the language the difference of the language and uh, there can another problem can occur is that for example there might be a some word that is okay to be used in the us marketplace or it is okay to be used in english english language but it is not okay to be used in other language it might mean something different or maybe you might some mean something offensive uh, in other language and that will result in your uh, you can see the rejection of the design or also it might uh, get your account terminated because you have violated the much by amazon policy so that was the tip number one is that you should enable all of the products uh, if possible for you for the us marketplace because it does not uh, count against your uh, any kind of like tier system or any kind of you can say against that it does not increase your uh, you know points in the tier level it does not increase the slots uh, you still uh, occupy just one slot for each design and here is another point uh, but regarding this is that uh, while enabling the design on the us marketplace make sure that uh, you check the trademarks for other products other than clothing so for the t-shirts or you can say the apparel uh, category the trademarks are different and for the other products for example these phone cases or maybe these pillows the category for trademarks is a different so make sure that you check the trademarks for each of these categories and the easiest way to do that is to um, install this google chrome extension called productor for much by amazon and if i just scroll down here it has the option to uh, you can say the check trademarks in different uh, in different uh, categories of the uh, trademarks uh, you know sections and you can enable them in the uh, uh, in the settings of the uh, product uh, let me show you what i mean so if i just scroll down here and uh, there must be an option about the products or trademarks categories so for the uspt or for the us marketplace you have the option for clothing for uh, you know pop sockets and phone cover for you know electronics type and other products and same is the case with that uh, dpma and european unions um, market uh, you know trademarks check so uh, this is very helpful so this uh, extension is very helpful in checking the trademarks now uh, let's uh, move on to the second point and the second point is that you should you know avoid other marketplaces and the reason is uh, is that uh, that i already said the language barrier and the trademark issue but if you know any of these languages and if you understand and uh, these words um, in those languages and if you are able to you know uh, you know get help in order to you know uh, get a better understanding of this language 
you should uh, upload the design on other marketplaces and uh, if you do not and if you still want to upload the design on these other marketplaces what i would suggest is that use only the design title and the brand name avoid any kind of bullet points and the reason is that the design title and the brand usually have less words and um, if you translate a few words there are very less chance of getting those words wrong you should use that google translate or any other software that you might want so just use the design title and the brand name for those other marketplaces in non-english languages uh, it will just uh, you know save you uh, some kind of problem in case you get any word wrong uh, in in the bullet points or uh, in the description and the third point regarding the uh, new tier level system and the third tip is that you should upload a design that is opposite in colors to the, your main design so uh, for example this is our main design and this design was actually I mean, let's say that it was selling on the marketplaces uh, maybe uk marketplace or uh, marketplace amazon and uh, that dot com marketplace if that design is selling you should create a design that is opposite in color which I, by which i mean that let's say this design was in white color so you should create another copy of this design and the version of this design that is in black color let's say like something like that or maybe in other some and any other dark colors so the main goal is to enable uh, to create a design that should be enabled uh, on these light color products like uh, t-shirts or on any other products that you can see here and the reason is that some people prefer those black color products and some people prefer those on light color products and if your design is selling well on a black color product or a dark color product uh, there will be a greater chance of selling the same design on the lighter color products for those people who are interested in you know and in these light color t-shirts or any other kind of products so these are the tips that i wanted to share with you and if you have found these tips to be useful make sure that you like the video and uh, also if you are interested in learning online and learning design skills you can subscribe to this channel it's totally free and hopefully i'll see you in the next video and thank you for watching